To mix in a little fun in the sun with our history, we're driving three hours south to the rugged southwestern tip of Portugal, Cape Sagres. This was as close as you could get to the edge of our flat earth in the days before Columbus. A lighthouse marks what was referred to even in ancient times as the end of the world. Today, salt of the earth merchants sell seaworthy sweaters. Fishermen cast their lines off the dizzying cliffs. And tourists go for that end of Europe photo. Five centuries ago, Prince Henry the Navigator, determined to broaden Europe's horizons and spread Catholicism, established his sailing school right here. This was Henry's mission control, from where he sent sailors ever further into the unknown. And here, he debriefed shipwrecked and frustrated explorers as they washed ashore. Little remains of Henry's original school beyond this evocative stone circle. Nobody really knows its function. Some say it was a tool for celestial navigation. Others figure it was a wind compass with a flag in the middle blowing in the direction of the wind. Whatever the case, sailors came here to learn everything they needed to know for world exploration. Shipbuilding, map making, navigation, even languages and salesmanship for mingling with natives in newly discovered lands.